Hello and welcome back. This is Talking Food with the Chef man, Carlo. the myth, the legend, Chef Carlo. We took a couple of weeks off. And Andrew. I am here. He's here. awake today. I'm not. I'm still sleepy. It's called espresso roast. <laughs> Good. I, I got to come to the studio and sh you got to share that espresso with me, baby. Yeah. Well, it's, I've got the pot in there. So what are we doing today? Drinking coffee. All right, cool. Drinking coffee. As he covers up the logo, we don't want to give the. Uh, yeah, thank you. No free advertising here, sorry. I did. Hey, unless he throws a bone. If he throws a bone, we'll show some advertisement. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> today we're making. What are you making today? We are making garlic calamari and zucchini noodles. So I'm excited about this because I've always wanted to try the spiralizer. The spiralizer. I've always wanted to try that, so I'm going to make the zucchini noodles and saute them. So today we're going to use this gadget, it's called the spiralizer, or oh, the spiral slicer. There's a lot of them in the market. I think I picked up this one for 25 bucks on Amazon, uh, and there are so many models out there, but this is really fun. We've been using it here a lot, and uh, it's uh, it will help you spiralize anything. You can spiralize apples, potatoes, uh, guess what, to stay away from the starches because we're still in the healthy foot kick. So next, next, next semester, are we going back to um, like normal? Oh, we're going butter and then <laughs> the summer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the summer, I'm going to lose uh, some pounds and then we come back in the full, full force of deliciousness and richness and <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the shrimp is going to be very simple to you. Uh, the shrimp. Why do I keep calling it shrimp? Calamari, because your calamari. mind is on shrimp and you want the calamari. Why? Uh, oh, the shrimp. I have the event on Thursday with shrimp. Okay, good. So, first of all, let me show you how simple is the, spiraliz the spiralizer to use. It comes with a base. It has a suction cup on the bottom. And uh, put it right there and suction it. Okay. I mean, turn from left to right. Boom. Boom. And look. Ha 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 ha. And the reason I have that is because it's easier if it sticks to a surface and not on the cloth. Mm. Uh, this one goes right there. The other way. Gotcha. Okay. Now this one comes with uh, four of these gadgets that will give you a different thickness on the uh, on your noodles or whatever you want to call it. Now if I can actually say a little public service announcement. For, for those of you like me <laughs> who have lost fingertips in the past couple years because of Amanda Lynn, and not using the hand guard. Remember, this is sharp. <laughs> it is sharp. Be careful, <laughs> just like your knives. Sorry, if we get a close up on my finger, you see that it is not round anymore. If we need to give the, the, that advice, like, okay, knives are sharp, be careful. <laughs> so this is go like this, mm -hmm. slides in there. Boom, snaps into place. Snaps. So what we want to do is, let's show it this way for a moment. Okay. Uh, where is my base? Okay, so this one is very simple. It slides like this. Okay. Done. So here you're going to put the object mm -hmm. of the spiralization. Right there? Right there. You can put a potato here, an apple. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're going to use zucchini. Zucchini. Now I'm going to turn this around this way because I am left-handed. You are left -handed. So you know what? I'll let you play with this one. Okay, great. So we're going to take our zucchini. I've never used this. He told me this right before the show, y'all. So we're going to make our slices. Oh, that's right. He's never used this machine. I have not used this machine. So I just told him what to do. Slices, slices, and shove it in there. Try to make it as flat as you can. So if you can do it first time, anybody can. So first, I want you to get this. No. Nope. Oh, so I did it first. wrong already. Okay. Try to get the center on the little notch there. Okay. Got it. And then press the back. Got it. And now, mm -hmm. okay. Well, you can also center the back right there. Oh, we're going to force the zucchini to be straight. Yes, we're going to force it to be straight. Okay. And now that's it. You don't need to hold that one. I don't have to hold this it, one? No, because the zucchini is super tender. There you go. You want to put your hand right there. And you know we only have 29 minutes for this show. Okay. Right? Let me spiralize faster. <laughs> I need... Come on. There I you need, go. Uh, I need some spiralizing music. <laughs> It reminds me of the episode of uh, Seinfeld when Kramer and Newman are making sausage in Jerry's oh apartment. Oh my god! It makes me laugh every time I think about this. Oh, we should have, like the Benny Hill show. That was a core. The core, yeah, comes that usually. Uh, you, yeah, that's your snack. That's a snack. That's you can a snack. You can dip it in ranch dressing, have a good time, or just eat it like that. But the Benny Hill show. Yeah, the uh, yeah yakety sacks. Okay, so. I That's am. it. So you're going to get to the end, you're going to pull it back, and you're going to get the core of the zucchini. And what do you do with that? 
Um, it's a snack. Uh, it's a snack. And you can just <laughs> eat it with anything you want. Look at there. So there we go. Adam, you want to get a close up on this? My hands are clean. Yes, all our hands are clean. They've been Look sterilized. At that. Okay. That's pretty darn cool. I'm okay, excited. now keep going. Okay. Uh, now get a uh, yellow squash. Okay. Same thing. Let's Same snip thing. Snip off the ends so they can sure. see it. Snip off the ends, nice and even. Snap the ends. And this is be great because it is coming up on zucchini and squash season. Yes, <laughs> spring is here, and it's coming to season. And uh, again, but zucchini is something you can find year round. And That's true. It's not a bad thing. Now the squash, yellow squash is going to be a little bit wider. And now here's the thing. Yes, you can buy this already ready at the supermarket. A 10 ounce package costs $4. Crazy. Or you can buy the machine and keep it at home. And not only you can do this, but you can do also potatoes with this and then throw them in the deep fryer or make hash browns if Ooh. you don't want to throw them in the deep fryer. I'm digging the hash brown idea right there. There you go. Get pulled the core out. Look at my look at my mini oodles of noodles you have. Oodles of noodles. Oodle, hey, that's a trademark, right? I don't know. Probably. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. We're not getting paid for this. That's right. We're <laughs> not making any money, so we can say anything. Well, <laughs> almost anything. Almost. We still need to be good boys. Great. All right. So another. Let's do another zucchini. Do another zucchini. When is it gonna do the squid? It's coming, guys. The squid takes five minutes. Squid, it's one of your, uh, the proteins, just like fish. You cannot cook it too long. So, let me rephrase that. Squid, you either cook it really short or really long. If you do it halfway, it's gonna become stringy and tough. That's why the squid is, I'm gonna get the oil hot, get the squid in there, really hot oil, sauteed for two minutes, add the garlic afterwards. So you don't wanna add the garlic in the beginning because the garlic will burn and taste bitter. Start your uh, your squid and you're gonna see it right now. I'm gonna add, you're having fun in there. I am you? having a blast actually. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to go get one of these as soon as I get out of work today. <laughs> There's one called the Vegetti. Oh wait, we can help. Well, that's a brand name, Vegetti. Yeah, that's a brand name. But there, there's a lot of them out there. A lot of, a, a lot of, um, and you can also mix it up. You can add, let's say, a sweet potato there. Now, just remember, you gotta start cooking the sweet potato before the zucchini. Ah. The zucchini is super tender. This one will cook in five minutes or less. Look at you. I oh, know. Now I'm an expert. Sort of. And ladies, and this is the first time Andrew uses this paralyzer, so it is that easy to use. And the beautiful thing is that thing goes into the dishwasher. Yay. What? I really? Love, I love stuff that goes into the dishwasher. Oh, don't we all? <laughs> all right, now this one, this one's a like, little... Like little. my baking students, I tell them, hey, you know, half sheet pans fit inside of the dishwasher machine. <laughs> Full sheet pans, you have to clean it by hand. <laughs> so use the half ones when you can. Up the, no, use half ones. Look at that. Spiralizer genius. Man, I love this machine. You can also do daikon. This is what they used at the uh, sushi houses when they do daikon as a presentation for oh, the sushi. Yeah. So you, it, here we're alternating. And now we're going to do a little bit more zucchini. Do one more zucchini. Yeah, hey, a little bit more. Ancora un, ancora un po' più di zucchini, dai. There we go. What he said. <laughs> ancora un po' più di zucchini. Dai, mettiamo ancora un zucchino che vedrai che buono. Now look. I yeah. actually add the subtitles to this thing, so that's Italian. Poor, poor Google's gonna go ape, go crazy. I was like, I don't know what Already he's saying. Already with my accent from <laughs> Google. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you should see some of the subtitles with your accent. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Oh, it's it's, it's not bad though. It's not as bad as a country accent, like a really deep southern accent. Sometimes it's it it really misses the mark. Well, I don't have that problem, I guess. You do not. Okay, so for the squid. Technology is the year 2018. It's a beautiful thing. It allows us to buy the squid clean already. Uh, somebody asked me, oh, how do you clean squid? Uh, we're gonna do a vignette uh, one day to show you how to clean squid. Uh, most of the squid that you buy at the supermarket would be the long one, and I'll show you how to clean one. But the ones that we use for this, I like to use the very small squid because also they are nice and tender. So. I'm gonna wait for you so we can move this one. That should be enough, don't you think? <laughs> That's enough. Here, put it right over here. So, what else can I spiralize? What do we have in the <laughs> office? <laughs> what about an eraser? Eraser. We could do pencils. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can spiralize anything that will hold 
up. You can spiralize apples. Uh, you can spiralize uh, sweet potatoes. See, I'm excited about the apple thing too because that would make a really fun salad. You can actually do a coles add it to the coleslaw. Oh yeah, that sounds ah. good. Okay, so let me show you the squid. So this is how the squid comes uh, already clean and packaged. It comes. This is a, uh, I like to choose the small squid, it's more tender. Most of them will come with the tentacles. Adam, I don't know if you can get a close up in there. And even though it's clean, there's always a little bit more uh, that I want to do here. I want to make sure the cartilage that comes inside of the squid is removed. So I just stick my finger there. Now, I love the tentacles and they put it in here this they might still the mouth might still be attached here Ooh. so what i do is just go touch and if you still feel it there so for speed purposes i just get rid of the upper part of the body i get rid of the upper part of the body and i keep the full tentacle i love the tentacles it's actually my favorite part of the squid why i don't know it's crunchy it's like it has a nice texture uh, Again, I'm the guy that eats uh, awful meat, which I love tripe and <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> and no, mean, we no? will not be making that on this show. Are you kidding me? Nope, I I, I, I will put my foot down. This line in the sand has been drawn. We, we will, will not make, make tripe. We on will this make show. tripe. Got it. We Amanda, on the day he makes tripe, I will be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so I already got, uh, got this morning a little bit early here into the studio and got a couple of them sliced. So basically, I like to cut my squid. So these small tentacles, they go whole. And the squid, I like to cut about a, what's that, a half an inch? Mm -hmm. Half an inch ring. I don't like to do them too thick. Uh, this is the way I like to do it for a saute. Now, again, I'm gonna saute this really quick. It's gonna be probably five minutes and it's gonna be ready to go. Okay, you wanna start the, uh, hand me the, uh, the I will burner. Start, we will start the burner because space here is limited. So we have this, one of the, another cool gadget that we have here. The Nash camping to call it. Okay, set it right there. Yep. And click it. Okay. Ready. Yes. So we got <laughs> fire. It oh, works. High heat. High heat. High we're heat baby. going up. All right. Oh, going yeah. hot. Gonna go high heat. So we're gonna get that pan nice and hot. Now we're gonna finish it with olive oil. But to cook, I don't like to use good olive oil because olive oil, it's basically, to my interpretation, is fruit juice. All uh, olives are a fruit. The fruit, uh, the the juice is extracted, which is oily. And actually, my favorite is non-filter. Uh, olive oil it has flavor it has it even has they claim to have antibiotic properties yeah, right. they, it's been used for 3,000 years so there is something in there good olive oil I don't like to use it to heat it up because it's like heating good orange juice you'll kill all the good stuff hmm. so vegetable oil just to start it uh, and then we're gonna finish it with olive oil because there's no sauce here and I don't care who you are Raw olive oil is good for you. A, a bit. I'm not talking about, oh, let me drink a quart of <laughs> olive oil. So that's going to get nice and hot. At the same time, I'm going to start my squid. No, wait. That's going to take a little bit longer than my yes, squid. Yes, so I'm going to start this. So I'm going to take the rest of the zucchini, which remember to wash your produce. You never know what happened to this <laughs> produce before it got to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you never know what happened to the produce at the supermarket because you can be here and somebody might go like achoo mm -hmm. and walk away and five minutes later you walk oh here's my zucchini and we have a good uh, there's a, the, a show we used to do with um greg quintard uh our hospitality management instructor and chef don they did a show called right chef wrong chef and there is one talking about making sure you clean your produce and, and really cleaning your produce because you would not believe the things because people they touch things that you know it's you don't like, know where their well, hands have been why do you need to touch all the produce just just get whatever you want okay look at that you hear that sound if you hear that sound, let me put it closer. <laughs> lean, lean forward, get the microphone there in. There you go. That means the pan is hot. If you put anything, bolt, bolt. Oh, bolt. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I think you said whoop. I was like, uh-oh, what, what did I do wrong? If you get anything in your pan and it doesn't sizzle like that, it is not hot enough. Now, 
These noodles are really delicate, so you want to toss them just like Andrew is doing or use two rubber spatulas and toss them just like if it was salad and don't toss them too much. They're oh, nice wow. and delicate. Yeah. Now, they don't come seasoned, so salt and pepper will do the trick. But Chef Carlo, I saw them at the supermarket, they come seasoned already. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> salt and pepper. Don't be shy about salt, but remember, always taste it. It's easier to take, it's easier to add salt than to take salt out. Right. So always, always season to taste. Salt, pepper, and this is how easy it is. I'm like, <whistles> just waiting for the zucchini to be ready. Uh, as all fish, uh, squid takes a little bit to cook. And uh, as last show we did before the break, salmon, uh, salmon also cooks very quickly. Fish needs to be cooked very fast and not too long. It's made out of, uh, all protein is made out of 70% water and fish, it doesn't have a lot of fat unless it's salmon or tuna. You don't want to overcook the fish and draw all the water away. Shall we do cod next? Let's, uh, let's cod? Show, since the tripe was like shut down. <laughs> I'm not doing, I'm taking the core out. <laughs> what about uh, kidneys? No. What about brains? Nope. Jesus. What about chicken feet? Pig's feet. Pig Mix, feet. We can make spiny hocks in. But we can, we can use pig feet, but we cannot make it in half an hour. That's going to be a 12 hour show because <laughs> exactly. pig feet, you need cook to sear, nice and sear them first. You need to cook we can nice go with and some, uh, we can do some cod or maybe some poly. You know, my favorite though, and it's not my favorite, but the one that a lot of people get confused is flounder and how delicate it is. Because I see a lot of people trying to grill flounder. No, and you're no, like, no. That's you, too You can delicate. do it, but unless you've got a George Foreman grill or something like that, no, you're not going to no. put it on your grill. It's like I've, I've, you can, like, I was challenged once to grill, uh, to grill squid. And yes, you can grill squid, but it has to be the big one. And what I do is I clean it, I put the tentacles back in the squid season, uh, and then you can put the whole squid on the grill. It's not the best way to do it. I actually would rather do it on the flat top and you, you can sear on both sides. But the flat top is basically sautéing. Mm. No, it's cooking on the flat top. Well, it's sautéing. So. Right. That's almost ready. Okay, great. I'll turn down the heat a little no, no, bit. No, no, no. High heat, high heat. Okay. You I see all, all that water? Yeah. That is releasing from the, from the zucchini? Yep. Now, that's going to finish cooking the zucchini, so leave it on high heat okay. until we're done with this. Good. Now, alrighty, so we have my pan here. I got my shrimp. Now, don't you want to get some... Ooh, you know what we need to get there? What do we need to get? Oh, some but garlic. We need to get a little bit of garlic. Okay. I have chopped up now? garlic. Yeah, now. Okay. That way it gets cooked by the time this is done because we don't want the flavor of raw, raw garlic. But we don't also want to add the garlic at the beginning because it will burn. burn. Now, mm. this is something that, that, smell. that... I love that smell. I know, but this is something that I do and it shouldn't be done. It's put the garlic in oil. It's against, uh, it's against uh, the... Um, rules? Whose rules? Sir safe rules. Oh, okay. There might be small pockets of, uh, of oxygen trap in the, within the garlic and bacteria can grow there. But what I did is this morning I chopped the garlic, I put it with oil, I use it for the show, and then I'm done with it. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but it's okay. Why is it okay? Because um, we're cooking for home. There you go. We're not, cooking, we're not selling the food. We're not selling the food. Okay. Now, shrimp. Calamari. Uh, why are you calling it shrimp? <laughs> wow. Okay. It now, is a relative of the shrimp. <laughs> so I, I, however, I, we shall actually call it calamari. So I have <laughs> a pound of, of, uh, of squid and my secret ingredient. I have a pint of clams that clams. are going to add in there. It gives it a different texture. I know it says squid, but I think they all play together very nicely. Um, very simple, no wine, no nothing. The squid has a fantastic flavor by itself, accompanied with the clams, and this is the way it goes. I'm gonna get my oil in the pan. The pan is gonna be nice and hot. How do I know it's nice and hot? Well, you can try to do this. First of all, you're gonna see the oil is gonna be shimmering. The oil is gonna be kind of moving and shimmering on top of your pan. Now, the best it will be if the pan was smoking, but I don't want to activate the, uh, 
the fire alarm? The fire alarm. I don't think here. we have any fire alarms here. We don't? If we haven't set them off by now. <laughs> well, if we didn't set them off with the sandwich shop, that start, started to like, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get them nice and hot. I'm going to add my squid in there. You hear that sound? Well, look at that move. It almost looks like they're still alive. Yes, because that's all the protein contracting right there. Right. It's kind of like when you do bacon. It kind of sucks right in. Now, I have a couple of leaves of uh, basil here. I'm just going to add just a couple of leaves like this. I don't want, I don't want the flavor to be super predominant. Mm -hmm. I just want a little bit of, of flavor in there. Okay. I got also some fresh thyme from our garden. Thyme grows here in North Carolina year round because it's a family of the pine tree. Uh -huh. It should grow, green, it should grow, you grow year round I everywhere. I didn't know it's an evergreen, huh? It's an evergreen as well as in the rosemary. In right. Well, no, it, it should grow, I mean, I never lived northern than New York City, but right. it should grow pretty well up there too. And rosemary grows all over, it's nice and, um, yeah, it keeps all over the place. Yeah, the rosemary, I mean, it will grow. We have a couple bushes back behind us here that are still growing. Because it's, it's a nice evergreen. Okay, yeah. that's ready. Keep it on low heat. I do. I've got it. You got it on low heat already? Uh-huh. You're good. I'm smart. <laughs> Shrimp doesn't come season. Calamari. I'm going to go back and edit this video. I'm going to put every time you say shrimp instead of calamari, I'm going to put a little counter like, on the bottom down here. It's going like, to be bing. shrimp. <laughs> Pepper. Because <laughs> I've missed you, Carlo, over two weeks. I've missed I you. missed him. And I had a really quiet week while well, we were not here. Okay. Calamari is getting nice. The calamari is say, I said calamari, yeah, didn't I? Did. Okay, good. Now, <laughs> I like to add a little bit of red pepper flake in there. Okay. How come? Just the, a little heat? Uh, just a little bit of heat. Okay. Tell me if it is not delicious, a little bit of heat in there. You should see my mom is eating. She's discovering now the beauties of spicy food. Aha. Uh -huh. Because in Italy, there is... Okay, now I add my garlic in there. You should see, like, my mom is discovering now the beauties of spicy food because in northern Italy, there is not a lot of spicy food. Um, I didn't get in touch with spicy food until I moved uh, here to the States. Hmm. Even when I used to live in South America, there's not much spicy food. There is there's spices, but not heat spicy, unless you go to Peru and they, they love spi they, they love heat there. Hmm. They have a lot of excellent food. Uh, um, peppers, uh, heaves, and all that stuff. That's it. I'm getting the flavor in there. Now I'm going to add my clams in there. Okay. I, I mean, I wish it could get more complicated now. Clams. <laughs> I wish it could get more complicated. You have trouble enough calling the, the calamari shrimp, so <laughs> let's not add any more words. Well, thank you. <laughs> Coming from you, I'll take that as a as a compliment. So we added the clams because the clams don't take as long, right? No, uh, the clams will take, it, it will take basically one minute. The shrimp is cooked, calamari. and it's nice. <laughs> calamari is cooked. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It's nice and cooked. <laughs> Uh, hand me a plate for plating. <laughs> we'll, we'll let let me hang your shrimp from plating. <laughs> okay, me Would you like shrimp a shrimp? Here. Uh, let me give you a shrimp. Okay. Is so that a good keep shrimp? Stirring, keep stirring the plate. Okay. <laughs> I'll still... Uh, what about if you get some shrimp in here? Okay. Can we get some noodles in here? Are you using this? Or is that mine? Yes. That, that is yours. Okay. And we're going to get your, no your udus in there. I'm going to take this because there was some raw protein in there. So I'm going to put it away. <laughs> yeah, go get, go get your, <laughs> your, that's, your shrimp. That's too funny. You know, hold on, let me put this one down there so we don't burn the, the we don't burn the, um, <laughs> the shrimp. <laughs> so we don't burn the shrimp. Put it there so we don't burn the shrimp. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got shrimp on the brain, don't you? Got a shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> 
You know what? I think they show that show. We should do something with shrimp. I, I'm down. I think everybody in this studio right now is down too. Okay, so I have here some fresh chopped parsley. <laughs> now, if we do something with shrimp next week and you start calling it calamari, we're in trouble. <laughs> no, that would be the amazing thing if we can start doing that. Oh my God, that would be amazing. So what are we gonna do? Oh, nice toss. Well, thank you. What do we do with that? With what? Um, what do we do with the juices? Do we let the juices uh, evaporate a little bit, or we, we just kind of? That's gonna be part of the sauce because oh, cool. this guy's gonna be nice and cooked. Yep. But that juice, it's all the pro, uh, all the liquid that comes from the fish. Okay. So first, I'm gonna try it because. Did you try your zucchini? Hmm? Make sure oh yeah. Oh, sauce. You wanna try it? No. It's good. Did you try it? I did. Well, there you go. I did. They saw me. You saw me. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I knew you were you were trying to figure out what it was called over here. <laughs> Is the shrimp? <laughs> yeah, the shrimp. The shrimp. It's a funky looking shrimp I've never seen like that before. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> So we're gonna just go <laughs> We got we got two minutes and thirty seconds left. Let's go. That's it, we're done. Oh we're done? That's it. All right. It's well, done. That's it. You, you don't have to cook it. Plate too. it up. Plate it up. And of course we're using a rectangular um dish because that's what it fits here it does actually fit really well on this little table of ours but that's it and, and our table's higher now thanks to amanda so yeah she's the best so we can take a little bit of the juice a little drizzle a little drizzle and my favorite finishing item parsley for this bad boy olive oil extra virgin olive oil look at there and like to leave it also with the juice, it creates a little puddles of yumminess. Yumminess. Oh, and I, I love how it's uh, mixing in with the. Uh, it creates that little nice. Yeah, little right rivers of oil and juice, and, mm. and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have done it in less than 25 minutes. There you go. So garlic calamari. And no, <laughs> garlic, garlic, don't, <laughs> garlic, garlic, calamari, and zucchini noodles, and squash noodles. Uh, but zucchini is a squash, right? So zucchini is a squash. The same yes. thing. So. They're the part of the gourd, gourd, part of the gourd family. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Next time I bring you some espresso. Next time I need an interpreter. <laughs> so you can have somebody here going like, this is what Chef Carlo <laughs> is saying with his accent. <laughs> Thank you guys once again for joining us on Talking Food with Chef Carla. Any questions, just please send us an email, put the comments and the stuff. Or you know what you do on Facebook. Absolutely. He's more in there. I'm and not. And if you have an idea for a show, a healthy eating show or how-to show, please leave us a comment um, right below uh, uh, the videos that you're watching. Or you can always email us at studio, 60, uh, studio at nashcc.edu. Thank you, guys. See you guys later. Have a good day.